and Jean Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about where should you be posting content so in 2020 it's maybe very similar but it's also there's lots of differences but where should you be posting content for your business if you're trying to build a business online grow your fans grow your followers grow your customers grow your sales if you want to get more people to see your stuff where do you need to be posting what are the what are the better better social media platforms right now that will get you the most you know eyeballs on your stuff and what should you be doing to you know post the right content or how do you figure out well that's a separate question I guess we're going to be talking about where should you be posting in 2020 and why these different platforms have better or worse engagement or penetration if you will into your market what should you be doing we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so if you're trying to build your fan base or you're on certain social media platforms, you don't seem to be getting any kind of traction. Maybe you're thinking, okay, where should I be posting then if it's not working here? Where should I be creating content? What should I be doing? How do I grow my fans, right? How do I grow my customers? How to get more sales? How do you do that? What do I need to do, right? You might be asking yourself that. So I've been posting content on social media for five years, pretty much daily. Well, there's not too many days that I've missed. I could probably count them on my on my hand how many days I've missed posting at least something, right? some days I post on uh, especially the weekends weekends are family time right so for me I don't really post too much on the weekends I do do a little bit of stories I do stories on face on uh, snapchat and instagram and facebook stories right I do that on the weekends but and, and then the rest of the week too but that's that's it I do on the weekend because of uh, family time we you know there has to be a schedule it's that's really up to you I mean if you don't have a family obviously you don't need to worry about it as much but if you have a family you really have to have a, a balance there right and uh, have conversations that's the most important thing but anyways let's get on with it so where do I post let's just uh, talk about where do I post and what kind of results am I getting so if I just go over here I'm just actually going to open up a new browser uh, let's see new window new window so let's just share the screen here actually before I do that let me just get this this ready to rock here there we go that should be about right this uh, there we go okay so I mean let's just uh, move that up a little bit to get that there and let's just move it down a little there we go there we go perfect okay so where do I post right so first of all well first let's let's back up you know five years ago December 2015 when I first started posting online I started with YouTube so let's just go to my YouTube channel I'll just show you what I got there now uh let's see if I go to my channel you can actually see if you go to my videos and then you sort by date added the oldest right you're going to see that I started my first video four years ago I don't can you actually see the date I don't know if you can actually see the date right the actual date yes you can look at that January 1st 2016 so I guess I remember I signed up for an online platform on December 25th I think actually it was Christmas day uh just because I've been looking into it for for a bit before then and I decided you know what I'm just going to do it right I had the the day was a, a slow day even though it's Christmas we weren't really busy so I just decided to go online and just sign up for this thing right then I started looking at training and by the time I got uh the new year I decided I'm going to post a happy new year video and that's that's how I started as you can see there's like only 28 views here and this there's no likes nothing on it 
there it's just you know and that's actually pretty crappy I mean, I'm not even going to bother showing it to you right now but really I wasn't that you know but if you look through you can see some of these other videos four years ago four years ago and you know on my channel I really don't, I don't I'm not promoting my channel that much I only have 203 subscribers on here and but that's where I started I started on YouTube I, then I went on to uh Facebook right so I went on Facebook now obviously Facebook isn't the same as it was you know four or five years ago uh definitely not not the same at all and now you can see that if I look at my own profile just look that up hey Anthony you're there you're my you're on my friend list okay so um so I just actually posted today this little little picture of this plant <laughs> this little plant that's growing can you guess what it is what is this that's growing right these are two different plants this one here and these ones are all the same uh, but can you guess what it is I wonder if it, did anybody else if there was a comment some type of fruit tree apple tree does it grow seeds oh interesting uh, I should probably anyways I'll do a reply later on then uh, but anyways obviously things are different today on Facebook now I'm not um, let's not really worry about it and then the other thing I did is create a blog now I don't think this is working right now is it working it's actually not this I just updated the blog to a different but as you can see this is May 2017 if I go I don't know can I go all the way back to, yeah I guess I can oh I got some errors I I'm just working on setting this up right now the old uh, the old blog page is not it's the old blog isn't working that great but you know I that's that's how I started I, I started creating blogs blog posts videos on YouTube and Facebook now I'm not saying that's what you should do today because we're in 2020 right now things are different right things are different today I have a new blog which I've been using for I don't know a year and a half now and that's where I post this what you're watching right now what you're listening to right now if you're listening on I on, an, on iTunes or on other podcast this is um I post these every day here at least weekdays right and you can see them uh this is the new blog this is what it looks like um very busy very you know um move lots of movement going on right so that's my new blog now and that's kind of what I'm that's kind of what I'm doing now but what should you be doing so now the other stuff of course if I go to say Twitter I post on Twitter as well but lots of it is automated so if I look at my my profile here I look at what's in my post you can see that I got this post from and that 11 minutes ago five minutes ago 14 minutes ago I got this from 40 minutes ago one hour one hour and this is the post from uh, from uh, Instagram here uh, it's like sharing things automatically there's all this automation going on right and you can see a bunch of stuff but I do post on Twitter as well and I do actually get leads once in a while from Twitter even though I'm really not active on there it's all automated which is kind of cool so you could do that uh what else is there um the other one is Instagram Instagram I'm definitely posting on Instagram Instagram.com so I'm definitely posting there and it definitely recommend in 2020 you should probably be posting on Instagram Yukon rewards I must have typed the <laughs> insta instagram.com what is this thing some sort of spam right I must have typed the the URL wrong I don't know I'll have to go look at the recorded video afterwards but oh yeah I got a whole bunch of fake uh, you know um whatever you want to call them accounts if I go to my page I post here regularly as you can see I got some personal pictures I got some sun sunsets things like that and I got these videos and um, so you know I post things on here that is pretty standard stuff but I do post regularly I got 4,000 followers um probably have to reduce my following right here because there's a in, in Instagram there's this 7,500 
follow people you can follow limits so if you get to that point if you get to the point where you're following 7500 I actually did that before because I didn't know I was just following everybody who was following me and not worrying about unfollowing right because I don't really like to unfollow people after I follow them because to me that's but it but with Instagram you don't have a choice you got to unfollow people otherwise you're going to end up in this situation where these um where these people are uh, or, or sorry in the situation where Instagram is going to stop showing your profile to people when you get close to 7500 following that you're following you get to a point where you can't you, you're not seen anymore they're not going to share your stuff on on Instagram anymore right so that's Instagram you definitely should be posting on Instagram the other place you should be posting is so Facebook obviously but the thing one thing about Facebook is that it's not really great nowadays there's a lot of stuff especially if you're trying to build a business there's a lot of stuff that doesn't happen unless you pay for ads you know how it used to be that you could create a page create content in your page and they would actually share your content with people that liked your page a lot and you would potentially get engagement now it's it's all about groups it's all about engaging so that you get engagement so if you have lots of time on your hands Facebook is still a good place to build uh, your business it's still a good place to grow your followers you really want to be creating a blog though you really want to be creating a blog I'm not saying necessarily like mine but you create a blog with content that you post regularly and you have people go to your blog so that they get on your list you offer them some free stuff there's lots of ways to do that I actually have lots of other training that talks about what you got to do to to you know give free stuff to people where can you get free stuff to give them without you having to build stuff you can get stuff from uh, PLR pri private label rights you can give that away you can join my lead system pro I mean uh, PLR is this over here if you go to this you should probably go check this out PLR dot John Serge I'm actually going to edit this this is not I don't like this this has to be a better background oh this is not even the right one PLR link I'm going to edit this background it's got to be more like this okay so if you go to plr.johnsearchgagnon.com that's a site where you can actually join for like 40 bucks you get um access to a whole ton of stuff that you can give away for free so you can actually use those things to give to people so that they join your list right so you give it <laughs> you give them this like video course or this pdf or there's all sorts of stuff there the other thing that you might want to do is uh, use my lead system pro which is an amazing platform there's a my lead system pro again you just go to mlsp dot what's going on here I got this messed up if you just go to uh, mlsp.johnsergegagnon.com so you're going to go and see this is uh, this is what I, I don't it's, this wasn't really what I wanted to talk about in this uh, episode here but if you go to mlsp.johnsergegagnon.com you're going to end up on a site like this which basically talks about the my lead system pro uh, platform you can get uh, more fans you can learn how to grow your fans and stuff like that with the training it's a free training um and uh, that's my lead system pro and that's a great place because you can get let me just show you what you get just because I because we're kind of getting into this um if you're going to get my lead system pro you'll get things like this training uh, training training there's a ton of training well, actually that's probably not the right place to go I'm going to go to to wait just to training library so I mean there's like a ton of training on here to show you how to how to do everything look at this it's totally insane all the stuff that's on here this is all part of the platform you can do a ten dollar ten day trial if you want and then the other thing you get is things like this lead gen campaigns which is basically free stuff you can use all these things here you can give away for free all this and basically what it looks like say for example Instagram training right so if you you can give this to people it'll give them this thing here they'll be able to access it for free and they'll get the training for free and you get them as a lead right so you get them and the the secret to building a business online is to build your leads right so how do you where do you post to get these leads so 
if you're on Facebook you want to be posting in groups you want to be creating a group you want to be having a topic that you're teaching and you want to grow a group of people that are interested in that topic and you want to build engagement and create create engagement now I'm not doing that I'm not I can't talk about the details because I'm not doing it but I do see a lot of other leaders doing it and it really works great um so that's definitely one place now if you want to build your platform in a way my god most the best place that I, that it is right now in 2020 is definitely pinterest pinterest.com is where the eyeballs are there's pinterest and tiktok as well um if I show you tiktok I can show you but let's just show you here so for example on here I've got 117,000 viewers that's monthly viewers if I uh, and if I just show you the analytics for example uh, I've just been using it for like the last month right so Pinterest as you can see right here it's growing 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 get lots, uh, lots of impressions uh per day and then there's uh there's I'm getting link clicks I'm getting if I show you the clicks over here I'm getting like uh, is there not a number here oh this just sorted by link clicks uh, if I just show you the link clicks here I'm getting look at that link clicks it's not you know it's not thousands but still you're getting people actually clicking on your content to go to your blog and then they see your other stuff and then you know as time goes on they'll they'll get to know you better right if we go to TikTok, another platform and uh, on this platform I've got am I, yeah I'm logged in I've got a thousand fifty followers now that's not huge but on TikTok, once you get to a thousand followers you can actually have a link on your page now we don't see it here because this is the uh, web web uh, web uh, platform but you know look th look at that I got a video here I posted not long ago where is it it's probably down here so 86k right here I did an 86,000 views on this video now obviously the people that are seeing that aren't all interested in online marketing there are lots of them are just because it's uh Will Smith there I did another one another version of that 6,000 6, views I had another one before that I did a few of them with Will Smith here 40,000 on this one here right which is a which is a stitch I can't even do stitches anymore I don't know why but that's one of the things so okay so now that we talked about the different platforms where should you be posting I for me the recommendation I want to give you right now is you're wondering okay well where do I post what do I need to do I would say if you're just starting out if you're starting out you want to be posting uh you you can just start posting with one of these platforms whichever ones you like just use one of the social media platforms and start creating content that you post regularly that you post every day right if you can do every day that's the best way to do it and do the engagement thing so if you're so you would create content you can you know steal content from people I mean I I have if I go if I look at my Instagram I don't know if we can scroll down far enough um I haven't done it in a while but I've I've been I post some of these things here from these I get out of Facebook or other places and I just share them I just post them right and I as you can see I did that for a bit and so you can do that you can just and then the other thing of course if you're if you're using Facebook you can take something like this for example right uh, and share it or you can actually save the image and share it elsewhere like on Instagram or LinkedIn oh by the way yeah LinkedIn we didn't even talk about that but on LinkedIn on uh I forget if you can see um your your there's no I don't even know if there's any kind of metrics on, on the free account or not but if I if I look at my like I mean my network it's totally insane on LinkedIn right I've got 16,000 connections on there I've got I've got 640 you know connection requests right now that I have to go through and decide if I want to accept or not um and then uh, then there's a whole bunch of recommendations too if I look at what else can I see anything can I if I go back to here I don't want to look at this uh no there's um I mean if I look at say for example people have viewed your profile 267 I'm not really sure does that is that over the month or something it's been a while so this is the number of people viewing my profile right I mean 
the I use LinkedIn I post if I go to here you see my post activity I do that on there too I, if I click on posts whoops just uh, give it a second here I I posted the same picture right here right and then I do the video I share them across group that's why you see the same video it looks like it's the same but it's basically a share across uh, groups and then that's another video from another day but I mean that's that on LinkedIn that's the same thing right I post regularly let's get that MLSP logo out of there um so yeah on LinkedIn I post regularly too so there's LinkedIn Twitter uh, TikTok Pinterest let's uh, go back to here let's just do that just for the fun of it there we go Instagram Instagram we got Instagram we got uh, all right so we got Twitter as well over here right Twitter I've got 11,000 followers my blog on Facebook does it can you see on Facebook on Facebook I got like 4,000 friends right so 4,092 friends um and then on YouTube I've got 200 subscribers right okay so where do you want to be posting and how do you do that first like I said you got to start posting on one platform got to focus on that one platform and do the engagement thing and do the, the content thing and do the do the sharing and do the engagement and you know create content and post things and just just be yourself right just be yourself and choose a platform to post on and then as you get better as you grow as you get better and you grow and you get to a point where you can start to share across platforms you do this now this is what I do right but it doesn't mean you have to do this you don't have to be posting on all these platforms and doing all these things right you don't have to be posting on things like you know TikTok necessarily right what about what about and you know what you can't even see it on here or can you no not yet so there's new thing on Instagram too it's called reels right so if you go to reels actually let me just show you on my phone here because I have it on reels on here go to Instagram on my account and when you go when you look at your phone let me just go to the full screen here when you look at your phone on your IG once you have if we can get this to focus there once you have um uh posted a reel you'll see that image right there this one here whoops this one here in the middle whoops geez it's hard to do the reverse thing on the camera uh let's get that back to back to there so the first one is the image the second one is the and then the third one there that looks like a little a camera a little tv or a little movie I guess is the real thing now if I click on that if I click on real it shows me my reels which are these um they look like stories and you can see the number of views I had on them 1.1 1. 1, 1 k on one of them you know 100 and something on most of them and that's that's real so that's another place where you can post it's very similar to TikTok and it's a it's a platform it's it's and it's new I guess right so let's just go back to the webcam and that's one of the things you can do right so uh what else so so how do you get how do you do all this content everywhere right you might you're probably overall if you're starting out you're but you're like oh my god how can you be posting everywhere I'm actually posting every single day to all these platforms so how do I do it <clears throat> first thing I do uh let's actually give you a little let's do a <coughs> notepad here notepad let's load up notepad I'm actually gonna show you um okay so what do I do so number one number one I record a daily video um that's about 20, about 30 minutes okay so it's a 30 minute video I record that every day now you can do that once a week if you want that's really up to you but the idea is that you use that video for everything else so that's what I do so number two I extract so okay so number two so then what do I do with that video right then I post video to YouTube 
all right then number three I create a blog post on same topic and use video as blog anchor right so basically I this is this is the main this is the main part of my content if you look at my blog you can see right here that I have all these blogs over here 199 which is yesterday 198 the day before 197 196 195 these are all blog posts and they all have a video attached to them that's around the 30 minute mark right 25 to 35 kind of thing to sometimes as low as 20 but usually at least 25 to 30 minutes and I create these these uh, videos and these blog posts and I post that to my YouTube channel that's why when you look at my YouTube channel if you look at videos and we sort by most recent you can see these are 35 33 31 29 29 31 30 34 36 right you can see all these these uh 30 or more minute video 22 see this a short one 22 minutes 28 so all these videos are anchors now if you go to any of these videos I'm just gonna pause it you can see that I have in the description I have a link to the actual blog post which is the the blog post right here and uh, takes me straight to that to that blog post which has the video in it too right so that's what I do this is the same blog post and I have a little bit of text there kind of talk about but then there's a video right up here that you should that you that invite people to play to watch right so that's what I do okay so that's uh, let's go back to the notepad here okay so so now I've got my blog post and my video so after I've done that then I extract well actually part of the process before creating the blog post is I actually um before even posting to YouTube I guess because I need it for YouTube number two is I need to extract a thumbnail from video frame so I I look at the video I kind of I kind of remember like right now I'm I'm I already know that I'm probably going to use the around the time where I was showing you my Instagram feed that would be my thumbnail I'm going to use that as the thumbnail to the video and I also create uh and I also extract gif from same location in video right so I extract a gif which is a moving picture that kind of shows a little bit of movement it kind of looks like a that's why when you look at my blog you can see these are all moving that's because they're all gifs right they're all gif or gifs or whatever you want to however you want to pronounce it but that's kind of what I do I create these gifs or gifs to you so now what I do is uh then I post a video to YouTube number four number five I create a blog post and number six I after I do that so the blog post um, I use that with gif as featured image and j and thumbnail as Facebook share image okay so whenever I do that now I create the blog post and I do that so then after that what I do is I uh, let's see what am I thinking about here the next thing I do is I okay right so then I take I extract first first five minutes to a um trimmed video okay so I take the first five minutes and I add a and I add um what do I add I add a a, a, a outro with a link to my blog okay so at the end of the five minutes well actually it's four minutes and 30 or whatever at the end of that I have this little blurb that shows people okay if you want to this was been part of my you know blog please go into the link that's in the description or go to you know jeansergagnon.com to go look at the rest of this video and uh, that takes you know people to my blog right so number seven I extract audio uh, okay actually yeah well let's just do that let's just uh, then I post uh, five minute video as Facebook live stream I post five minute 
video to linkedin to linkedin uh, pinterest and do i post it anywhere else and well, i guess that's it and pinterest okay so i mean this takes so let's actually let's look at what it takes afterwards right so number nine i then extract uh audio from full video and and post to soundcloud so i posted to soundcloud as an audio right number 10 i extract audio from five minute video whoops video and post to alexa skills to soundcloud that and, and itunes right this goes to itunes as well so that's automatic on itunes uh number 11 i create a story a story story video in snapchat to and share to instagram instagram face instagram stories facebook stories and tiktok with uh, with topic with topic and link to blog post right so I do that and then uh number 12 after I've done that uh so you uh, okay number 12 I then share YouTube video to Facebook story and Pinterest and that's pretty much it all right so then I post five minutes on all right uh, uh, on and number 10 actually we'll we'll fix that this will be 10. I share LinkedIn post post in LinkedIn groups right there we go that's 11 12 14 okay uh that's basically what I do there right I do that let's see now um and is that it is that what I do I mean that's I mean that you know doesn't look like a ton of stuff to do right but it does take a bit of time but that takes me about 30 minutes to record the video obviously right so 30 35 minutes if I count the prep time and things like that and then the other thing is um the next thing that I do is make sure here all right so the next thing that I do is share this and, and enable it on on uh, automation I actually add that oh that's the other thing I do so number 15 <coughs> I add all oh, right I also add um uh, let's just say create new broadcast email in a Weber <coughs> I'm sorry sorry about that create a new broadcast email in a Weber and then number 16 I add blog post and sound cloud links to social media jukebox now that's automation so these are automation things that I do so I do all that and you know the thing is that all this extraction of thumbnail and gifts and first five minutes all that stuff I have a script that does it for me so that saves me a lot of time because imagine doing all that manually for every single every single video all I do is I look at my video I go find the position in it and then I run a script that I give it the the timestamp and it goes and extracts the video it extracts the audio it extracts the gif it does it all for me <laughs> so it's pretty cool that I can but you know without that it's really hard to do all this right obviously that's why um, one of my mentors talks about doing this once a week where you take the week to create your content because it takes a while to go through and create all that obviously creating a nicer image for Instagram or a post like that is better and did oh I forgot about that I post a five minute video uh to LinkedIn as well uh, number one LinkedIn 
instagram igtv and pinterest um linkedin yeah i do that that's what i do so that's that's what i do i do this every single day i'm not saying you need to be doing this but like i said you got to be posting content on things like Instagram you got if you can choose Instagram if you like images Instagram is your place to be posting you, if you like videos probably TikTok unless you know they ban it in the US and you're in the US I'm not even sure what's whether that's happening or not but you know that's that's another option if you if you like short you know information daily t- timely information t- Twitter is still a place to post where you can still get leads if you uh, but if you are on Facebook Facebook is definitely a place where you can post you can post videos you can post content uh, text you can post images pictures uh, everything right that's the thing with in Facebook it's kind of a combination of all these different things on LinkedIn it's more professional right it's more professional but it's still you know a good place to post if you're building a business definitely Instagram is a place to include in your posting um and what else the other thing is uh, YouTube you want to be posting on YouTube on YouTube over here you want to be posting on YouTube create content for YouTube let's go back here to the I mean this is this is you know there's a lot of stuff on here right there's a lot of stuff on here I post every day so that's why there's so much here and but should you be creating content to engage that's the thing right you should be engaging if you don't have any money to spend on ads engagement is your most important thing that you should be doing and uh, but the thing is that pick a strategy pick a place to post and then go for it and then over time you're going to be able to do things like I do which is posting all this content everywhere and hopefully uh, you'll get to a point where you grow your followers you grow your leads you grow your content and uh, yeah so I mean if I look at say a Weber here I'm just going to go and show you the Aweber side of things so this is where I would go to uh, my broadcasts if I look at my scheduled broadcast right here so you can see I have these posts that are scheduled to go right so it's scheduled for tomorrow August 14th August 15th 17th 18th so I scheduled them ahead of time I create the posts that are scheduled for next week so I do one a day kind of thing and I'm not saying this is the best because there definitely isn't but it is my my content I'm creating every day so I might as well use it for my Aweber list too right if I look at my subscribers actually let's go to the dashboard instead just to show you I'm I don't have them you know I have a thousand subscribers right I had three added yesterday I didn't even know that I guess not that much I'm not getting a ton of people on my list because I'm not really promoting the list that much um but I, at some point I was able to, I was getting like 100 subscribers in a single day right because I was doing the work for that and like I said it's different every time you do different things it's it's all you know uh that's that's it so create choose something but you know in 2020 you really should be using Pinterest TikTok and LinkedIn so Pinterest TikTok and LinkedIn if you've been wondering the answer to the question where should you be posting in 2020 on social media TikTok Pinterest LinkedIn those three are the ones to be posting in 2020 and you really should have a blog that you share to those platforms because without a blog you never know when those platforms are going to change their algorithms and you're going to lose the function the 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 connections or the contacts or the the views to your posts to your content maybe your account's going to get blocked deleted and you know all that's possible with social media whereas a blog it's yours so that's that's my suggestion to you hopefully you enjoyed this and if you um you know and we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.